Hello, everybody. How are you? Welcome. Whoa, there's a little camera miss half right there. How's everybody doing today? Happy Friday. Whoops, another camera miss half. There we go. How's everybody ha hanging out today? Enjoying your Friday? Enjoying the weather as nice as it can be? Which for Arizona, you know, for Arizona, we don't get. Geez, the camera just is determined to do its own thing. There we go. Okay. The weather in Arizona is kind of unique. We get, um, it's usually really hot, <laughs> filled with some cold, and monsoony. So this has been a very odd, I know, I get why you're getting dizzy. Okay, I think I fixed it. I don't know. Um, but it's been a weird monsoon season for us because the weather has been I don't want to say catastrophic as compared to Hawaii and all these other tragic places, but we've had a lot of really big storms, a lot of wind, and a lot of hell. And whenever it's windy, I always know that the universe is carrying a message for me. And it doesn't have to be big winds, big gust of winds. It can just be a subtle wind because that's how the universe communicates with us. The universe sends us messages, and it's up to you to figure out how the universe talks to you. You know, in my case, it's through um, wind, it's through animals and hummingbirds, and it's through omens, and it's omens as an O-M-E-N. You know, not everybody likes to have an accent when I say omens for some reason. So it comes through omens. I can just sit silently when the wind is blowing and ask a question and wait for the universe to provide me with, it, with the answer. So I have to ask you on this Friday, are you listening? If you're not, if you're confused, if you're not getting the answers that you want, if you're not sure which way to go, left or right, straight or backwards, do you start a business, don't start a business, stay in your job, don't stay in your job, apply for a position, don't apply for a position, lose weight, don't lose weight, drink or not drink. Those answers are out there waiting for you. You just have to stop and pause and listen. And when the wind blows, it's a good opportunity for you just to sit there and ask. And sometimes it can be a basic question such as, is there something I should know? Is there anything I need to know? Because the wind comes from the soul of the world. We all have a soul. And if you picture this one big giant soul, and you can identify it as you choose. You can identify it as God, spirit, universe, you know, Buddha, whomever you choose to. But that's how we identify the soul of the world. That's how we identify this magical, mystical, wonderful part of the universe that communicates with us and provides us with answers. But I see so many people either choose not to ask, they choose not to listen for whatever reason. They don't believe, they're not sure in the power, but I think what it is is they're afraid of the answer. Because if the answer comes back, yes, you should do X, Y, and Z, that scares you. Because now you have to move out of your comfort zone. And the universe, the universal power, God, wants us to move out of our comfort zone and keep ratcheting up and keep learning and evolving and learning and evolving. I mean, I have so many people that say, if, if you remove one block, you should be done. Because that's one block. And it's like, no, the universe, you've got more and more because it's a learning experience. But not everybody understands that because as you heal your blocks, you keep walking up in the world. Your obstacles keep healing. And it's the same as if you keep listening to the omens, you have to keep moving forward. You have to keep going because the universe is pushing you. The universe is gently nudging you. Or sometimes if it's a universal clue alert, not so gentle, just a kind of a push to say, hey, pay attention. Listen to what I'm trying to tell you because all your answers are out there. Everything you've ever wanted to know, need to know, want to know, desire to know is out there. You just need to sit down quietly and ask the question and wait for the answer. And I would say if you're going to ask a question, ask for it either in a specific way to say, you know, should I do X, Y, and Z? Show me in a way that I will recognize it as a sign for you or show me a, you know, pink elephant within the next 48 hours if I see a pink elephant I'll know and don't be literal don't mean think that means I have to see a pink elephant because really you know it could be in a book it could be a children's book it could be looking up at the um, 
clouds and seeing an elephant and thinking, man, that looks just like a pink elephant. It can come to you in many ways, but you have to trust the universe and you have to listen. So when you look around and you see people and think, wow, did, why did they have so much? They're listening. They understand how the universe is communicating with them. They understand the, the vastness of this, this universe. They understand that they are a small piece in this huge, amazing universe. They're grateful, they're happy, they see joy in everything. And if they get down, and everybody gets down, and don't listen to anybody that tells you, oh, I never get down, everybody gets down. I get down, everybody gets down. It's how fast you get back up. It's how fast you say, well, that was kind of a bad emotion, and I was kind of poochy there. I mean, I've come into work and said, I've kind of been poochy today, I'm sorry. You know, because I realize that I have a lot on my mind, and I'm kind of not being the positive person I want to be. I want to be a positive person. I want to be a positive force in the universe. I want to, you know, I have people that call it silver lining. It's not silver lining. I choose to see the good. I choose to see my childhood as some bad, some bad in there, surrounded by a lot of good things. And that, you know, do you fixate on the good or the bad? And that kind of tells you how your personality is. What do they say is your cup half, or I like to say is your drink half full or half empty? Now, back when I was drinking a lot, it was half empty <laughs> because I was drinking so much. But now I see that it's half full. And I understand that if I have five drops of water in my glass, and that's it, and I got a 32 ounce Yeti, and I got three or four drops in there, my glass is half full because I got drops. And if you give me a little bit, I can make so much out of it. If you give me, if you just crack the door open, I can make great things out of it because I believe in myself, because I listen to the omens. And I want you to believe in yourself because you listen to the omens. You trust yourself. Don't trust everybody else's opinions. The soul of the world wants you to trust you. Listen to you. Relate to what you're saying. And everything else will fall into place. As long as you trust yourself, you trust your inner voice, you trust the wind, you trust the birds, the omens. I mean, I was walking around over the weekend and I was deep in thought about my side hustle. And all of a sudden I saw these beautiful two yellow butterflies playing. And, and just seeing joy in life and I thought okay thank you thank you I see what you're trying to tell me that's how subtle it can be but so many people fly through those signs for whatever they keep their head down and power through the day or you know nobody sends them signs if you just stop and enjoy if you just stop and look around and say oh okay thanks I see it and keep going your life will change in magnificent ways and you will be the person that you know you are, the person that you keep buried within. So listen for the wind and the, with the voices, the omens, whatever you wanna call it, tell you. I hope this has helped you. As always, sharing is caring. Please share this with your friends. I forgot to say I'm Karen Barno. If you have any questions, go to karenbarno.com. Um, I have a three part video up there that talks about how to um, step into your greatness you know it's a little thing give me your email I'll give you that I have a workshop coming up September 29th in Phoenix Arizona love to see you here for that if you have any questions let me know if you're on go if you're on go daddy if you're on YouTube and you're not a subscriber please subscribe and if you're on Facebook hit your notification so you know when I am going live I'll talk to you guys on Monday take the week off, weekend off take time be retrospective take time to look within and most importantly, take time to love you because you're a wonderful, magnificent person. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.